very good afternoon my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so looking at the charts right now we will start as usual with the euro usd now the euro usd did not reverse as i expected from the previous support and it just continued the bullish momentum and of course that is all supported because of the coronavirus news all over the globe so What's gonna happen next? What I'm expecting from the pound, sorry, from the euro USD, it's gonna continue the bullish momentum. It's not gonna reverse. It might actually make a small bounce, but I don't think it's gonna fall down at all. Therefore, we need to look now for the buy opportunities on the euro USD. Now, let me just allow, uh, allow me just to show you this, please. What we can see here on the euro USD that it has actually breaking out from this resistance level and this one as well. Now. The, the first thing you can expect that the, pound, the euro USD is actually right now facing a resistance zone right here and you might think I have to wait for the pullback I have to wait for the price to retest this broken resistance and this support here is gonna be respected and gonna keep its position as a support and there I can start by the euro USD now you are wrong and right at the same time because it has already happened it has already happened look at that let me just show you this we are right now on the daily candles all right so this is the level where we had the previous resistance and this was here the previous support and of course right here as well remember this is daily candles now this is the breakout candle which has broken out from this resistance now look at the next candle look at this tail here this tail here is actually the retest level of the broken support oh sorry the broken resistance which we were waiting for so that was actually the right moment to start buying the euro usd right on the, uh, the, uh, the retest on the broken resistance and actually this candle here this price action indicating usually a continuation in the trend therefore it's indicating that this is a breakout candle now what will gonna happen next so since we know that the price is actually going to continue uh, rising up, where can we start buying the euro USD? Let me just uh, draw here a trend line like that. So it can actually give me a clear picture of where we can start buying the euro USD. Let me try to give you the best uh, uh, entry possible. And right now we gonna wait. We, we need to wait for the price to actually make a small bounce. Let me just uh, check the, the four hour charts. Yes, exactly like that. Look at that. So, as we can see here, we have already a support number one. So, the, right, the idea here is that we should actually wait for the price to, to fall a little bit down here to create a support number two. Now, usually, what you think is the right thing is you will set your support line like that at the absolute bottom of the support level and you will hopefully wait for the price to fall down but you will be su surprised that the price is never going to reach this point here it's most likely going to reverse from this level here and going to continue the uh, bullish momentum the reason is that this is the wrong way to draw your support line you should draw your support line in a way that the line is touching all of the tails of the support candles Look at that right now i have drawn my line in a way that the line is actually touching all of the tails look at that the line is touching all of them therefore this is the right way not only that but actually drawing the trend line here is supporting this uh, way of drawing uh, the support line horizontally and therefore we can expect from the euro usd to actually make a small bounce after hitting this resistance zone and after it fall for that almost 46 or 56 sorry or 60 pips uh, against uh, the trend I think it's gonna be the best time to start buying the euro USD as we can see we already have here also a support level right here and right here not to mention the support number one so this is gonna be best level to start buying the euro USD let me just uh, again draw the line here just to be sure I just want to feel confident about this because we are giving the signal and we want to be wanted we, we want the signal to be accurate as much as possible and I just want to be sure it should be yes exactly perfect perfect that is perfection yes 
the because the line of the resistance line should be touching also all of the weeks on this uh, the top of the peak and as we can see here the line is indeed touching all of them therefore in my opinion that is the best way to draw the line going to the four hour chart yes that is exactly the best signal for the euro usd hopefully it's gonna be followed and we're gonna get, make some good profits out of it now for the pound usd the pound usd if i'm not mistaken i have sent the signal that we can start shorting the pair right over on this previous resistance if i'm not mistaken uh, what happened is that the pair is still ranging on the previous support zone as we can see here we are having here this support zone and the, the pound usd is still ranging on this support now to be honest with you this afternoon i was planning to send the signal that we can start shorting the pound usd right on this resistance level here instead of this one because we can see that the pair has not a single price action indicating a bullish reversal look at these candles one by one not a single one really indicating that the pair is gonna make a bullish reversal therefore i was really planning to send the signal that this is a resistance number one and we can start here shorting the pound usd on the resistance number two now sadly the pair has already activated that imaginary signal and the pair is going right now in 33 pips of profit sadly i didn't send it I missed it anyway uh, our only hope that the pound USD is gonna maybe make a one less attempt of this uh, resistance um, if it reaches the resistance again we can start shorting it again otherwise I think it's gonna be really risky it's gambling to start shorting the pound USD right away because we are not sure if it's gonna uh, reverse or not that is gambling so you better I advise you to be uh, more patient about it have more patience and just hope that the pair might actually make a third attempt so it's gonna hit our entry level on the cell as I mentioned here and hopefully hopefully we are just hoping that the pair is gonna make this uh, attempt and if it does we can make this one here as our take profit level this is the previous support level right here so if it does uh, reaching this resistance and we short it we can look for almost 162 pips of profit so this is going to be your take profit level on 1.267 double four hopefully we will get them and hopefully the pair is going to follow this analysis now looking at the AUD USD the AUD USD uh, last week I gave the signal that we can start shorting it right on this previous resistance however the pair uh, sadly broken out from this resistance and it um, for almost 60 pips and right now it's gonna fall down let me just tell you uh, this is a price action this one here indicating a continuation in the momentum therefore I believe the AUD USD should be good for the buy right away like that let me just be sure like that so uh, the AUD USD seems like it's gonna break out from this resistance. I really don't think it's gonna reverse and fall down at this moment. Nope, I don't think so. Most likely, this support level here is gonna be respected and it's gonna keep its position as a support right here. Uh, maybe the pair will go a little bit against you. Maybe it will go to fall. It will fall down to retest this broken uh, support uh, resistance right here. However, I have to give the signal to start buying the the AUD USD right on this level. The pair might go for almost 20 pips maximum against you. But looking at the daily candles, we can see that the pair has actually made a really strong bullish reversal. And therefore, I believe it's going to be a good time to start buying the AUD USD. So we can start buy the AUD USD on the level 0 0.658. 63 expect for it to fall for almost 20 pips against you just to retest this broken resistance and then it's gonna continue the rise hopefully uh, we can keep our trade running all the way until it hit this previous support level right here as we can see we have in here a previous support level and that is gonna be our take profit level for almost 78 pips hopefully and gonna gonna be in profit so take profit level 0 0.66625 I believe the signal is accurate I'm just uh, thinking about it because if we draw the trend line here 
let me go to the one hour chart yeah it's not like that actually it should be like that yeah I think the AUD USD actually might fall a, a little bit as I said for almost 20 pips before it's gonna be really better for the buy however um, just to be safe and be logic in our trade uh, we can start buying the AUD USD as I mentioned right on this uh, previous resistance level now let's check the USD CAD the USD CAD signal as I mentioned last week it did not really work so well we can see that the pair as, as actually I was expecting from the pair to reverse right on this previous support level right here after retesting this uh, broken resistance however the pair has made very strong bearish candle and right now it seems like it's gonna continue to the fall as we can see that we are having here a resistance level this resistance seems like it's gonna be respected here this strong bearish candle cannot be ignored therefore I believe that the uh, uh, USD CAD is actually gonna continue falling all the way until it hit this previous support level right here now again this is daily candles let's go to the four hour chart we can see that the reversal has already started so I have to send the signal to sell the USD CAD right now sell USD CAD right now on 1.33623 because the pair has already started the reversal not to mention that let me just remove it not to mention that this candle is really strong for the bearish reversal I trusted this candle I trust it a lot I believe that the pair is gonna actually fall down now after creating this candle in the middle and the take profit level I'm gonna set it right on this previous support let me just be sure this is the level I select on daily candles also yes perfect perfect fantastic perfection so hopefully we're gonna look for 130 pips of profit so our take profit level is gonna be 1.32254 let's check right now the USD GPY so ah, okay yeah I made this signal uh, before recording actually I just checked it just to be sure because it's gonna be it's gonna take long time to analyze it so USD GPY is gonna be actually good for the short uh, after retesting this broken support level we are having here a support has been breaking out which was here also a resistance and in my opinion the USD GPY is gonna continue falling all the way until it reached the bottom of this previous support level and after drawing uh, my trend lines and just to be sure of the signal I can still tell you uh, actually when I started analyzing the candle was right here now we can see it bouncing yes uh, the candle is actually approaching the my entry level for the signal uh, hopefully we're gonna get that let me just tell you that we can start shorting the USD GPY on the level 107.457 and keep your trade running all the way until it hit the previous support level on 106.701 this is our entry level here on the previous resistance which was also a previous support and we can keep the trade running to hit this previous support level so we can look for almost almost 72 pips of profit hopefully we will get them now looking at the USD CHF the USD CHF seems like it has breaking out from this previous support level right here as we can see the pair is right now ranging also on the previous support that is very strong this is a key support level therefore I don't think the pair is able to break right away of it however eventually seems like it's gonna continue breaking out from the support level I don't think there is um, there is no way that the pair is actually gonna uh, reverse and go up at the moment USD CHF seems better uh, for the sell now the question is where should we start shorting the USD CHF looking at the UF on the four hour chart as we can see that we are having here the support level and looking again at the four hour chart we can see that we have here the breakout candle and the pair has already went up to retest this broken support level therefore our best shot for the USD CHF is to actually sell right on the resistance number two we need to look for a resistance number two and let me just be sure this is the right level here now I'm expecting from the USD CHF to actually go up here 
fall at the superficial resistance and then gonna continue the fall let me just be sure that on the left we are having also a strong resistance level right where I have drawn my line as we can see we're having here a previous support level and right here also and here it was a strong support level uh, let me just see it as a resistance and indeed we can see it right here as a resistance and right here it was here a, a really strong support level okay this level is a strong and cannot be ignored therefore we are gonna set this level to be uh, our sell order for the UCCHF actually the pair maybe already started reversing again uh, since we are in the middle of the week our only hope that the pair is actually gonna make just like the pound USD we were gonna hope that the pair is gonna make one last attempt to break out from this uh, sorry to retest this resistance level then it's gonna be better for the short so for the USDCHF it's gonna be actually good for the short on the level 0 0.95822 as I mentioned right on this resistance level you can expect from the, the, the trade to go against you no more than 20 pips I think just to hit this previous resistance as well but all in all hopefully you will be, you will be uh, safe and as usual I just want to be safe uh, for myself and for my followers therefore I'm gonna select this nearest support to be our take profit level with almost 62 pips of profit so we can this set this one here 0 0.95174 as our take profit hopefully we will get them all now let's check the gold which is actually oh my god look at that that is where I'm actually planning to start buying the gold and the gold has fallen down since I started recording 154 pips wow the pair is falling really fast really fast I'm not sure if by the time I will submit this video or I will, I will upload this video uh, we're gonna catch it however that is our best entry to start buying the gold because this candle here is a breakout candle and the pair most likely is going to retest this broken resistance uh, sorry uh, this support level here is going to be respected and the pair going to keep the support level and going to continue the bullish momentum the pound uh, sorry the gold is moving really fast it's moving really fast let me go to the one hour chart i just need to find the best entry level possible because as you know guys one small loss can means a lot actually you know something now looking at the one hour chart that is more safe entry I just want to be safe for myself and for my members therefore I'm gonna select uh, this level here let me just be sure let me just be sure I just be sure I want to be sure because look at that if I send you the signal to start buying the gold here look at the small reversal it can means on the next support level it can mean 50 pips which is really a lot therefore I just want to be sure I'm selecting the right uh, uh, level just give me a moment please just to select it just need to be sure of the level I'm giving you to start buying the gold uh, just to save your time let me just pause this video and I'll be back to you once I finish my analysis all right so after doing some analysis here I have found that actually this is gonna be better level to start buying the gold and I really wish it's gonna be uh, active and uh, profitable for everyone it is uh, sensitive as you know we can start buying the gold on 1619.51 and keep your trade running all the way until it hit this previous resistance right here most likely it's gonna continue the bullish momentum even actually breaking out from the res resistance but actually I really don't prefer to keep the trade running for more than 350 pips for the gold therefore just to be safe I'm gonna select this as my tech profit level on 1655 sorry what is that one po uh, sorry 1655.25 actually let me just tell you why this is actually a good level to start buying the gold first of all that is the nearest support to this breaking out candle that is for starting second actually this is a level 32 on Fibonacci if we draw Fibonacci like that as we can see like that 
because as you know uh, the right way to draw my Fibonacci is in a way touching all of the bottom uh, wicks here and even actually for the starting should be lower than that like that perfect so as we can see that we are having here a previous support level and this is the Fibonacci 38.2 and this is here we can see a previous support which was a previous resistance not only that but taking my uh, let me just delete this one or oh, no I will keep it like that just to be sure okay and this trend line here I feel like taking it from this support trend line here and compare it with this resistance trend line and that is exactly the right way to draw the resistance trend line in a way it's touching the nearest wicks to the breakout candle i know that from my experience and i have explained it very well in the videos about using uh, the trend lines magic so uh, i find this to be the best entry for the gold hopefully it's gonna be active very soon uh, after 120 pips and hopefully we're gonna make some good profit out of this uh, gold uh, uh, trade uh, for everyone and in the end I need to uh, upload this video quickly so in the end I really hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching